K Black Boxing. Coming to another video, man. You see that it's 11 50 in the PM. And it's currently 45 degrees outside, man. Uh, shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Man, I, uh. I guess we got beef, man. <laughs> I usually don't talk about boxing, man. Uh, especially any little beef, especially when it's, it's different. When they when the people are in different weight classes, man. I seen this on um, you know, on Fight Hype, man. And if you want to see it, you can log on to Fight Hype and you can watch the whole uh, little video, man. But uh, Jamal Charlo ripped both Tank Davis and Adrian Broner, man. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was comical, man. Um. You know, like I said, if you want to watch the whole video, you can watch it in its entirety, man, on Fight Hype, man. But I know he goes to say that, uh, you know, if Adrian Broner lose, that uh, this is over for him, his career is over. And he he said that he called Tank Davis fat and called him, uh, he said he talked slow or called him retarded and he stutter or whatever the case may be, man. He said, uh, he, that he's, he said that he's not Floyd Mayweather, man. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That video, you know, that video, I, I laughed like hell when I watched that video, man. Uh, you know, Jamal Charlo, man, him and his brother Jamal, man, they've been rather boisterous lately, man. And I think because they're just not getting they just do, you know. They're not getting the guys that they truly want to fight. So, I think, you know, they're kind of angry, man. And I can't blame them. You know, you got guys like... Uh, Tank Davis that, you know, but I guess a protege of Floyd Mayweather, man. There's no hate on it, but, you know, Tank Davis do remind me of a lot like Adrian Broner, man. It's no, and it's no surprise that they actually cool, Adrian Broner and Tank Davis, you know. And he's right, too, you know, about Adrian Broner, man. We all know that if he do lose, we already know he's gatekeeper status anyway. So if he do lose to Jesse Vargas, his career is over as a top fighter. And many people already believe that his career is over as a top fighter already, you know. But it is kind of sad to say that although... That is true. Agent Broner still sell more, man. You got guys like the Charlos, uh, Wilder. Well, Wilder now is getting his just do, you know, and getting his notoriety, you know. So I can, I'm not gonna put Wilder in there anymore. But guys like the Charlos, guys like Terrence Crawford, who was an undisputed, you know, champion. Guys like Earl Spence, who want to fight the best, who is a title holder. You know, Jamel got a title. Jamal is on the cusp of getting another title, even though he had a title before, you know, but he moved up in weight, so this would no longer we have a title. So those guys, and all those guys are undefeated. And and it's sad to say a guy like Adrian Brown, who got multiple losses, who's probably going to lose his upcoming fight, still get more, uh, you know, gets more buzz around his name than those guys, you know what I mean? Uh, one thing I say about Adrian Brown, though, you know, hate him or like him or dislike him or whatever. He, um, he know how to sell, man. And he know how to keep the buzz wrapped around his name, too. You know, whether it's negative or positive. Well, it's more negative than positive anyway because we, are, we already know his whole little thing, man. But I just thought it was comical, though. I thought it was pretty funny, man, that uh, Jamal went in on both those guys, man. And, uh, shit, I didn't even know they was even had any kind of quarrel or whatever, man. So, hey, you know, let me know, uh, you know, was Jamal just talking or is it, like, real? Or is it, like, some type of beef or quarrel between those three people, man? Or, um, you know, I know he Jamal was alluded to that he was saying that he didn't want to fight under a card of uh, Broner anyway. You know, he said every time... <laughs> Uh, that he fighting on uh, on the same card as Braun and Braun and the Blues, and he said that he he do his half. He beat the guy he need to beat, but Braun never come through on his end. <laughs> he was going in, man, and he also did like a little uh, demonstration. You know how Floyd Mayweather be doing his lit mid work, and he was telling Tank. He's like, man, he said, don't nobody. He said, man, don't nobody. Uh, he said only Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather can can do that on the mix and still win. Nobody else can do that, you know. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> he said what he said. He said, you, he said retarded, retarded, stuttering, talking motherfucker. He said some shit like that, man. <laughs> it was classic, though. Oh, man, you know I love the Jones, man. I love that shit, man. Love when people get, uh, when people get roasted, man. That's, you know, that was one of my past, that was one of my best pastimes in high school. Man, that's how me past high school, uh, Help high school passed by rather fast for me, man. Uh, just roasting people, man. That's that's one of my uh, one of my fortes, man. That's what I did, man. But anyway, man, this K Black Boston. 
Shout out to the whole LDBC. Like, comment, subscribe.